Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. Not a long time ago my family got a gift, a box of traditional Syrian cookies called Baraze. It looks very appealing from the outside, but when we unboxed them we saw a bunch of perfectly set thin discs. And after the first bite I said, I have to make it. That was something unforgettable. On one side of the cookie chopped pistachios, on the other side roasted sesame dipped in sweet syrup that connected the whole taste together. So I decided to make it by myself and I can tell you, they disappear in the speed of light, so you might want to make a bigger batch. Take the flour, sift it and then add into it the salt, vanilla extract and room temperature butter, very soft. Mix it with your hands until you get a compacted yet quite soft non-sticky dough. When you finish kneading, put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. In the other pot, put sugar, water and sweet syrup and mix it all together. Get the dough out of the fridge, remove it from the sides, mix it a little and then add the mixture of sugar, water and syrup into it. Incorporate everything with your hands until you get a very sticky dough. Then put it in the fridge for 30 minutes for the butter to set. In the meantime, take pistachios and chop them coarsely in your blender. You should get a mixture of small and bigger pieces. Also, take roasted sesame, mix it with a big spoon of powdered sugar, add into it sweet syrup and one tablespoon of water and mix it until it becomes sticky. You'll know it's finished until you see the palms of your hands all covered with sweet sesame. Take the dough out of the fridge, take one part of it and rest put in the fridge. Flour the surface, make a roll of the dough and cut small pieces. Each one roll between the palms of your hands into a small bowl. It's important to put the dough in the fridge until making a second batch as it's much easier to work with a cold dough. When it warms it gets too soft and hard to work with it. Then take one bowl. Press it lightly onto the pistachio and then the other side dip into the sweet sesame mixture, pressing more to flatten it into a disc. The sesame side must always be up. You can make them thinner if you want them to be crunchy or a bit thicker if you like the chewier texture. I always make the mix so there is something for everyone. Keep putting them onto a tray covered with baking paper and then put them into the preheated oven on 180 degrees 10 to 12 minutes or until they become lighter brown. Check the bottom, if it's golden brown then it's done. You can always make a big batch and keep them in the containers. Leave them to cool off, then serve them and enjoy! Thank you for watching my video recipe for traditional Syrian cookies called Baraza. And if you liked it, please leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!